So we tried to cover a new technology called next generation DNA sequencing, which got into the market almost a little over a decade ago, and it really transformed the clinical genomics era. And very recently, we actually saw that this technology is coming into the food space. So FDA, USDA, with their genome tracker program, they started using one of the applications of next generation sequencing that is called whole genome sequencing, and they start using that for outbreak investigation. But we try to actually cover a broader application scheme for NGS, things that go beyond outbreak investigation. For example, for looking into the food fraud, for looking into GMO transparency, traceability, shelf life, and all the possible applications you can have from next generation sequencing. So the technology, the main advantage that we had compared to legacy type of testing tools that the food industry was used to, things like PCR, ELISA, culturing, the main advantage that NGS has is that it enables us to pretty much cast an infinite net and ask so many questions without having a bias towards the answer. And this way we can end up actually collecting a more representative and unbiased view about any food safety quality question we are asking. And this obviously gives us more leverage about solving the issues that we are dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. But at the same time, it opens up the room for loss of the data science, because now with the richness of the information coming out of the platform, we can now start building lots of insightful models and objectively ask many questions about the food safety and quality.